And uh, I'd love to have another song if you feel up, like well, doing it. Well, I can it. do it. Let's see, what will I do now? I've got this guitar on, and it's making a nice sound in here today on these linoleum floors. So let me do this Muddy Waters one here. WNCW, oh, great intimate session here in Studio B today. Just Tinsley Ellis and his vintage National Steel guitar. Kind of a, well, kind of a preview of one of those intimate shows tonight at the Gray Eagle. Um, tonight, you're by yourself there. Uh, That's tonight. right. Acoustic songs and stories. A great. lot of talking, a lot of playing. Well, a fellow that's been playing the blues as long as you have, I'm sure, has some really interesting stories to tell. I've got some good stories. <laughs> some of them true. <laughs> <laughs> and some almost true, maybe. Alternate right? truth, right. There you go. There you go. Um, I was going to talk to you about, we, you know, we're not, uh, the last album is Devil May Care, which yes. we love. And uh, Thank you. and maybe you'll do some songs from that, you know. Tonight, definitely. Tonight, definitely. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, but the album before that is when things got halted for you. Yes. Uh, Ice Cream in Hell? Wasn't Ice that Cream in Hell tour. We did 30 of the 60 shows on the tour. We're all the way in Northern California, and my agent, Baron Ruth, called and said, you've got to come home. 
And I said, what are you talking about? And the pandemic, it, it happened so fast. We had to drive, cancel the tour, and then come back uh, to Atlanta, Georgia from Northern California. Not a short drive. No. And, uh, and we rescheduled that tour three different times. And it wasn't until uh, last year, last January, when uh, Devil May Care came out, that I was able to get back on the road and tour without interruption. And and in between those two dates, you know, um, uh, had a lot of free time on my hands, so I designated every morning as, as songwriting time. And I wrote a couple hundred songs and picked the best 10 songs to be uh, the, what made the album uh, Devil May Care. Wow. And, yeah. of course, that came out in 2022. That's right. That's a lot of songs, for even for that what seemed to be eternal time period that things were locked down and you weren't able to go and tour, but... You know, it sounds like you got you were regimented, but you know, in your creative mode. But I you didn't were... want to lose my chops. So I was so afraid of you know losing the ability to play. I'd never had since I was a teenager. Never had that much time off, and uh, and that's a lot of a lot of songs. But it was also a lot of time. And and I will point out that not all the songs are good either. You know, I'd finish one and go, "That's a weird one." And every once in a while, I would listen to it. Would you consider Juju a weird song? Or yeah. That was the, actually the last song I wrote for the Devil May Care, Care album. And that's one of my favorite songs off the album. Mine, too. And I played it yesterday. Oh, great. And talking awesome. about uh, you being here today. So, awesome. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't pick one that you felt like was too no, weird. No, that's, that's <laughs> a... Uh, an interesting song, definitely inspired by the uh, Allman Brothers, Brothers and Sister era. Dickie Betts, Chuck Lavelle, and their interplay is is sort of uh, something we were going for. I wanted that song to be like a Dr. John type song, but it ended up being more of a Brothers and Sisters, Allman Brothers era song. It was all Tinsley to me, but I can see where, yeah, I can yeah. see that uh, that flavor there on that song. But uh, it, ever since we got the record, that was one of my faves. And I, oh, cool. I try not to play it every time I play that album, but whenever well, I Thank you so whenever much I for can. that. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, once again, tonight at the Gray Eagle, Tinsley Ellis. Tomorrow night, uh, we have listeners over in Tennessee. We reach, you know, parts of five states with our signal. You're going to be in Chattanooga uh, yes, tomorrow night? Yes, tomorrow night at the Songbirds Guitar Museum. Wow. Very nice venue. Cool. Yeah, that's a cool place yeah, to so play. So two of my favorites this week. Yeah. Well, let's see. I, I, let's see. I was looking also. It looks like February 4th uh, in Macon. That's the Capricorn Studio show. That's where you're going to – that's – okay. Yeah. All right, cool. A 6.30 and an 8.30 show. They're, they're sit, uh, setting up uh, 60 or 80 chairs right there in the room where the Allman Brothers recorded all their classics and Marshall Tucker Band yeah. right down the road in Spartanburg. Kind of like Daryl's house, only in the very cool Capricorn Studios. In yeah, Macon. and I, it's going to be very intimate, and uh, and I'll probably do some of the songs from that era. There's some songs off of uh, Greg Allman, Laid Back, or something like that. Yeah, wow, man, I wish I could go because that's, that's going to be fun. Feb four is like a Saturday, it's isn't it? Saturday yeah. night. Yeah. Gosh, man. Yeah, the room's about this size too. Not much larger than this, so. That'll very be a intimate. very, very intimate <laughs> six show. Six or eighty people in there. Right, yeah. right. I said intimate for the Gray Eagle, but you know that's an expansive, uh, yeah, you know, floor there. The, the, the cutting room there at Capricorn. <laughs> yeah. Well, great. Congratulations on that, man. That that is cool, and I really am. I'm really standing here envious that I can't, you know, be there because that would be a great thing to remember for the rest yeah. of my life. Uh, 